lieutenant in the mission. And then, is Robert here from the Castro? Yeah. Um, is Robert here by some chance? Castro Robert! From Belcher Street? Um, okay, I guess he's not. Okay, so, Lucia? Yeah. So it looks like we have one more, one more tenant from the mission, and then we're going to hear from a couple advocates and wrap up. Hold on. Stand up. Stop the violence. Housing is a right. Thank housing you. is humanity. Stop Thank the housing. You. Violence. That's right. Housing is a human right. That's right. We have uh, Miss Lata. Lata, uh, on Guerrero Street, that would also like to share her story. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lata Garrity, and I live on Guerrero, and I've been living for years with my husband. Put the mic right in your, right in your mouth. I'm a, I'm a registered nurse, and I worked in this town for 35 years, looking after the sick in many hospitals and in the homes. And I retired about four years ago, and <laughs> my retirement present was cancer, and I got over that. And now I'm in uh, remission, and this year received, for Christmas, an eviction. And I gotta tell you that I'm, I'm really ticked off about it. Talk about ticks. I'm ticked off about it. I, I, I really feel that um, it's a kick in the face to someone who's served the community all these years. I, I never made a lot of money as a nurse until the last maybe 10 years of my career. Now nurses are doing all right. But for many, many years, nurses in this town, they were not able to buy property. We, we were renters. And now this scourge of a person uh, wants to evict everyone in my building. Uh, uh, my husband and I are there 30 years. Most of the people have been there 40 and 45 years. Uh, just for profit. It is really, to me, a violent act. Yes. We've been hearing a lot about violence lately, and domestic violence especially. This is a violent domestic act. Yes. Perpetrated yes. against all of us. Yes. All of us. Where's Scott Wiener? Yeah, where is that stick? Where's Scott he's, my, he's my supervisor too. And he spent most of his time worried about whether somebody could sit down with a bear bum on a, on a park bench and whether he should put something under his bear bum. That's what he's been spending a lot of his time on instead of helping people like you and I. He's no Harvey Milk! <laughs> So, anyway, that's my story, and I, I gotta say, we have to fight, because I look around me and I see, these are the San Francisco people. Yeah! We're making way for people who don't even work in this town, we're in those big, 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 big buses with black windows, that go way down the peninsula, I don't know what they do, but they make six figures, and we are gonna provide housing for them. Yes. Not for the workers of this town. The workers of this town can go live in Haywood in a trailer. Well, I say the heck with that. 